Good morning! Now I'm going to try out, um, or I was in Gothenburg last weekend and I got some samples from, I think it was Dior and Estelader and, uh, and one other brand. But I'm gonna try them out today or I'm gonna choose one to try out. So first I'm gonna moisturize. And I don't think the, um, I have the right color for my skin. But we said, me and the, the staff who work there said that the color is not important today because I just want to feel the structure that it's high coverage and such. So I got these from Dior and Estelader and True Less, Trace Less Foundation. I think it's Dior too. And Dior Forever. Hmm. Maybe I will try this traceless. So, yeah. So, I wish I had done um, like research about this foundation before I try it, but I guess it's fine. So, I'm gonna take. I can feel like it's heavy. So I hope it's high coverage. Mm, it smells like swimming pool, I think. I'm thinking about turning this foundation review into a vlog, so I will see. We just done one vlog before, and it was uh, I filmed a date night with my boyfriend. So I will put the foundation here. See. Like so, I think it's much easier. I think I like this foundation. Uh, as I said, I have only done one vlog before, and it was with my boyfriend. We had a date date night, and I filmed it. But I think it's difficult because he can't, I or I can't like enjoy the experience if I have. Um, when I have my phone up and I film everything so I think it's pretty hard but I think it's you can get used to it and one thing I always do this because I hate the line if we have foundation here and not here so I always I do like this so it became becomes one part. Yeah, but you look yeah stupid when you do that, but yeah. I will take some more underneath the eyes. I think it, this foundation is pretty thick. Or I will take my, like, do it like this instead. I'm also thinking about doing a, a live version when I get ready in the mornings. But I don't know. I have never I have never done a live one before, so it scares me a bit. If no one's watching. 
but then again, then if no one's watching, what's what's the problem? Then I could just do it. So. Yeah, and the other eye. I will try to avoid doing this because then I get <laughs> lots of wrinkles when I do on my makeup and I think the foundation sets in those crease so I will try not to. I have never tried a beauty blender, I always use my fingers to dab the, or this one, to dab the product in. But I would like to try a beard blonde too. Yeah, I think this foundation looks very good. Take that on my nose and here. You can really feel that the foundation is hard to. Not to blend, but it's really thick in the consistency and really like gluing. Like, I don't even know if that's a word, but it feels like glue. So it's really, or like, I don't know, mud, muddy, hard mud. Or I don't know even what I'm saying right now, but maybe you understand. And I will do some more in the hairline. Like so. And maybe soon you will hear my boyfriend and my dog. They are out on a walk right now. so. They will be back any minute. So if you hear the front door is opening, that's them. So just so you know. So, and I will get my other makeup to contour my cheeks and jawline and such. And do the rest of my makeup. So I will bring this if you saw my... Uh, my like decluttering my makeup drawer you have seen this drawer before so I will take my contouring stick do some lines and here and here and I also I don't know if this is good but I do like I do like uh, this if you know if you don't know what I did on the phone it's I have low batteries so I had to press ok so and I will blend this out We'll see. It was the traceless foundation in the color 05, if you want to know. And I also think I will link it down below for you. So, just so you know. And I will take this just to
brighten up this area right here. But this product is almost empty. So I don't know if I will buy exactly the same or if I should try a new highlighter and uh, concealer. And I will dab this in. My biggest problem with the uh, with the base of the makeup is that I feel I always need to have filters in my camera. Now my boyfriend get, got home and my dog. I could hear the door. But I'm so uncomfortable to film when someone else is home. I hate it. But as I said before, I think I just have to get used to it if if I want to do vlogs. So yeah, and I will take some powder. Just on my T-zone, I think. And I have learned not to drag this around, especially on my forehead, because I'm pretty dry there. So that's not good for me. So I just dab the powder like so. And I will take this blush from NYX. This makes you look alive again. So I really love this. And maybe something inside here on the waterline. And on the inner corners of my eyes. Oh, I think I have oh, something here some hair from the brush and I will do some mascara I feel when I did my lash perm or lash lift at home the, uh, I think I need to do it again because now I feel that they are really down again I will just bend them regularly and I don't like this eyelash curler at all you don't think that it can comes near the the root Like so. And now I feel I'm really negative, but I don't like this color. I have also explained it in my Ulla Red um, video I did. No, I didn't explain it, I just showed it. But I think I explained I happened to choose the wrong color. This is like dark blue. I don't want a blue mascara. Yeah. I don't I don't know anyone who wants to have blue mascara. 
I will be much more careful next time I buy mascara to not choose blue. I want to have like a deep matte. No, not deep matte. Matte, I mean deep blue. And I always like every day question why I choose to make videos in English. It feels like I always do things more complicated or I set the bar too high always or not always but most of the time and I I like have two different personalities one that is really shy and that hates to uh, uh, to do things that is not comfortable and one side of me like who pushes me through and sets the bar way too high and those two personalities meet each other and it becomes chaos but that's a whole other story and if you saw, I always <laughs> relate to my videos now, but if you saw my decluttering my makeup um, video, I said that I really, really, really hate this, but uh, this mascara. But now when I have <laughs> my deep blue, it's really good to layer over so you don't see the blue. So, and now I also have waterproof or water, uh, cleanser who takes away makeup that is water resistant so it's made it that much easier to wash off my makeup and, and before I had that I really hated this mascara but now it's fine and now I think my boyfriend is coming And I will make some dark underneath my eyes because I love to wear a lot of mascara. So now when I only have it on the top lashes, I need to like balance out underneath because otherwise I think it's looks a bit silly. Or not silly it's the wrong word it looks unbalanced but I think it's very difficult to do the bottom to make it fit my face I don't know um, Yeah, maybe like this. It's fine. It feels like I'm mumbling <laughs> when I'm talking to you. I'm not so used to it to to do a whole video where I try to not uh, edit too much. Just have it clean. <laughs> and one person, I really, I don't know why I always love to hear like his stories when he gets ready or like his comments um, it's uh, Ken Surfs I have linked him in my previous videos uh, when I think it was in my first Ulla Red Howl me and my boyfriend love his channel and he does shave shaving videos so I don't know why I love to watch them, but it's just his personality. He's so, I don't know, he's so calming. So when you hear him talk, I don't know, it feels like a dad or something. I, I love his personality and it's so calming. 
to watch someone like getting ready. So I don't know if I'm as good as or I'm not as good as him, but but I personally think that watching someone getting ready and just chatting with you is I love that kind of videos. So I will try to make it for you guys as well. And let me know what you think about this. So yeah, I think I'm ready. And I will just do my hair and I will show you in daylight how my makeup looks. I wish I had better lighting here. I think I will do my mascara a little bit deeper and also go in from behind or on top to put some mascara. I really love to have like very full lashes with lots of mascaras. like so and I will try my bottom lashes as well like so <sighs> so I will take you guys out in the daylight so uh, or near my window and I will um, show you guys how this makeup looks but maybe I will do my hair first I really <laughs> I don't know I think um, I will just take this away but I don't know I just have like hair problems right now or wait Because when I have my hair in a bun, I think it looks good with my makeup and I feel pretty. But when I take my hair down, it's a mess. And I feel like, like, ugh, I know, bad hair is like a bad day. The hair does so much. So, uh, but maybe we can fix it together. No, I don't know how I will do it, but... Or maybe I will have it in a top bun. But look... It's a disaster! My... Oh, because I don't have like a, a part in my hair. But I will have it up, I think. And I like to have it a bit messy, but yeah, I will have it like this, I think. So unfortunately I lost the footage when I filmed how it looked in daylight but I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos and I will see you next time. Bye!